Introduction to functions. Suppose you get paid $10 for every hour you work. You work one hour, you get $10. You work two hours, you get two times $10. You work three hours, you get three times $10. You work T hours, you get T times $10 or $10 T dollars. The second column depends uniquely on the first. The second column depends uniquely on the first. You pick a number, one, two, three, and so on, and I'll tell you how much you earn. From a practical point of view, there is a limit on the number of hours you can work, and you may get paid for working a fraction of an hour. We'll get to that. The rule that assigns pay to hours is an example of a function. A function is a mapping from number of hours to pay. That's one way of representing functions, mapping. The set of all hours t is called the domain of the function. Okay? So the numbers in the first column make up the domain. The uh, set of corresponding values 10t is called the range. So the second column, the column on the right, was a range. The rule could be represented symbolically by p of t, which is 10 times t. Now be careful. P of t, not p times t. So when you have a function, function notation, f of t, all of this belongs together. And you don't multiply p by t. Mapping. The domain, the range, the rule. The number 1 goes into the number 10 times 1. 2 goes into 10 times 2. 3 goes into 10 times 3. Again, the symbol P of T is read P of T, not P times T. Of is normally translated to mean multiplication, but not here. Of is ambiguous and depends on the context. Of means double duty. The set of parentheses is normally translated to mean multiplication, not here. The sign parentheses is ambiguous and depends on the context. So the argument of the function is P of T. The argument is in T. And uh, the parentheses here indicate multiplication. Not multiplication, yes multiplication. See the context? The letter P is arbitrary. It is chosen here to remind us of pay. Normally, it is f of something, f for function. The letter t is arbitrary. It's also represented to denote time. f of x, read f of x, is a generic symbol for a function. Um, function is used throughout scientific literature. Pick up a scientific magazine, pick up a scientific book, see how many functions there are in there. You will not appreciate the significance here, but learn the concept. Okay, pick up any book, blah, blah, blah. A function is a unique association from an element of the domain to an element of the range. We'll see the vertical line test shortly. We'll also introduce relations. Well, so much for mappings. You like mappings? Be my guest. I prefer the concept of a machine. Our machine F takes argument X as input. X is also called the independent variable. The machine manipulates the argument according to the way it was designed by the rule of association. The argument T is multiplied by 10 in the pay function above. So the machine takes the input, the X multiplies by 10, spits out 10 times X. The output of the machine is F of X. The output is also called the dependent variable. Y is f of x. Y is the symbol f of x. All of this can be replaced by y. The output from the machine depends on what you put into the machine. f of x is 10x. You see, when you see f of x is 2x, you may think of f of x as y. y is 2x.
f of 5 is 50, means that y is 50 when x is 5, and the machine uh, multiplies 5 by 10. Suppose you have two functions in the same problem. The cost of manufacturing an item depends on the number of employees, cost of material, utilities. The profit from selling the item depends on the number of items sold, the time of the year, the taxes, the weather, more umbrellas are sold during the rainy season, and so on. 